Today, I'm in the woodyard. I'm standing on a pile of hickory and I'm gonna move it. Let's get busy. What we have here is a pile of hickory. This is the hickory that I started out from the oak that was over here and uh, part of a load that I got from John. It's probably a third of a truckload if I had to guess. So pretty nice pile of hickory. Uh, it's hard to come by for me. Uh, John doesn't cut a lot of it. Uh, and this is what he came up with. There's the two different kinds here. Shag bark, like you see right here, which is regular hickory, shag bark hickory. And then right here is the smooth bark hickory, which is bitter nut. Both considered hickory. There's some of both in there and I'm going to move it. Now, the reason I'm going to move it is that um, it's springtime, obviously, and we're supposed to have three more days of cold and then it's supposed to warm way up. Uh, today, right now, it's about 12 degrees out. Um, normally, this time of year, it would be 40, 50 degrees, so it's, uh, it's kind of cold yet, which is okay for me because the ground just froze. Yesterday, this was a sloppy mess in here. Um, I pulled the trailer out yesterday, right where I was doing some splitting there and it's real soupy. Um, the frost is still on the ground, but last night it got down to, I don't know, somewhere in like around five degrees. I talked to my brother Ken this morning. He said it was 15 below this morning up where he lives. And uh, you know, it's, it should be warmer than that for this time of year. Uh, but this hickory got put here because it was kind of the easiest way to get it unloaded. And I knew I was going to be moving it later uh, after I got, the, you know, it sorted out from the oak. So what I'm going to do today, because the ground just froze hard, uh, I'm going to be able to move it without tearing the ground up. I already started the tractor back there. She's already running and we're going to bring it all the way back around over to the other side of the woodyard because I'm going to put it in a spot that's kind of out of the way and I want to be able to put more wood in there, be able to work in there. So I'm going to bring it all the way back over here into this far corner and I want to get it across this area here because this is where I took the berm out all this stuff right in here so this is kind of not good dirt I mean it's good dirt but it's not good ground and I eventually want to get some gravel there so I'm going to bring the hickory and we're going to put it all the way back here in this corner because all this is pretty much pre-sold wood I've got a bunch of uh basswood right here that someone wants so this is all going to be gone so this whole area right here will open up so this is where i'm going to put the hickory right in here so that is my plan so i'm going to bring the hickory we're going to stick it right back in here so i can cut it and we can split it right over and stack it right in this area so i got the grapple on already so we're going to move some wood today that's the plan here we go
So here is the muddy mess that I created. So when I started this morning, oh, it's only about an hour ago. It only took me about an hour to do this. This was all froze solid. It was gray. Oh, this will be nice. Well, the sun hit it, and it was about, you know, 5, 6 degrees, something like that when I got here. But right now it's about 20 degrees. The sun is really warming up really fast. And this, because it's dark ground and the water's kind of saturated in this area, it just turned to a slop. So this is the area I'd mentioned that um, my berm was right in here last year. I moved all that out. So this is just kind of topsoil in here. And right behind the tractor, as you can see over there, that's where the gravel ends. You can see that kind of a higher area. So I want to put gravel all the way through here. I want to fill this all in so I can eventually get this to where it's going to be nice. Well, here's the logs I moved and I got everything back in this corner it's not pretty but it's here the uh, grapple is not as easy as it looks well actually it's <laughs> it looks like it's not easy because it isn't a lot of the logs this is on a hill here this is kind of slopes uphill and the logs were sliding off this way so i was fighting them the whole time and you tried to, i tried to come in and grab individual ones and put them back over and all that happens is you end up making it harder and harder it's better off just to throw them over here and get them out of the way there's all going to be cut up right here because this area right in here is going to be all opened up because i'm getting rid of this wood right in here so this wood will be cut split and stacked right in this area right here right in this corner so it'll be kind of out of the way and i'll be able to get another load of wood right over here on this side then too so this is all hickory it's going to go right here and uh, like i said with the grapple i'm i'm getting better at it i was able to when you can go straight into the pile you can grab a whole nice big um you know uh, pile of logs you can grab six seven eight sometimes if you go in you know if they're small enough you can get in and get a good grip on them the problem is is that you can't always go straight into the pile and get a good grip on them because they're, they're kind of sliding left and right and sometimes you get a crooked one and it won't go into the claw just right i've talked to a couple guys that have skid steers I have grapples and they say that it's way easier, way easier uh, with a skid steer because with a skid steer you don't have the front of the tractor in your way. You can see right down underneath and you can see the actual bottom, your two bottom uh, skids there, your claws that can come in you can grab. But from the tractor angle you cannot see it. You're just guessing, you're driving blind basically. Um, but if you can go up high, tilt your, your claw, grapple down and you can come in, you can grab it like you're picking up a pencil. Um, that works pretty good. You can pick up individuals pretty good that way. Um, but going into the pile, uh, it was also froze to the ground, so I had to break it loose and then lift it up and then close it. Sometimes when you lift it up, you have a piece that will squirt out on you, so it makes it a little harder. But I got it moved, so that's the main thing. And that took, like I say, just a little over an hour is what it took. And uh, that is it for today, folks. I got other stuff I got to get done now. So poke the buttons. You know what to do. Hit them all, hit the like, subscribe, share all that. Tomorrow, I'll be back in the wood yard. You should come back. It'll be fun between now and then. Get outside. Get cutting. Good night, Irene.